Hey guys, welcome to another video. Two videos in a row? What? I know. Stay tuned because I'm That's right, I am Dave Shaves. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Ring that bell icon for notifications. If you feel so inclined, hit me up on social media. That's at The Dave Shaves. Follow me on Facebook and Patreon.com slash The Dave Shaves. And hit me up on the web at TheDaveShaves.com. All right, so today, as you can probably tell by the title of this video, we are redoing the Gillette Wilkinson Sword Blade that I tried yesterday. After watching yesterday's video, which I found just atrocious, talking with some friends and listening to some viewers, etc., I decided to redo that video. I'm not going to go into the history and comparison of the two back and forth again like I did yesterday. I'm just going to go right into trying out this blade and giving it a fair shake. What I mean by watching it and I found it atrocious is my techniques, my pre-shave, lots of things that I did, I feel worked against me yesterday and probably didn't give the blade a fair shot. So I really wanna go ahead and try this again and see if I can really give this a fair show. Also, it's a mild blade, so I'm switching up the razor to a more aggressive, I'm also using a shaving cream that I know is going to give me an excellent lather. I'm going to go ahead and use a brush that I know is going to give me an excellent lather. And before I do any of that, I did shower already, washed my face, got it nice and lathered up with that scrub that I use, really well hydrated in the shower. Plus, I'm going to splash some more hot water in my face in just a minute. And I'm going to use a little bit of lotion that I have here as a pre-shave. It's some men's lotion that I've heard can really work well as a pre-shave. So I definitely want to try a little bit of that. Try to really smooth out the beard and the face and really just give this a fair shot. So let's go ahead and jump right into what we're using today so that way we're all on the same page. So obviously for the blade, we are using the Gillette Wilkinson sword. I'm going to use the same blade as yesterday. One use shouldn't do anything. If anything, a lot of people tend to think that the second use on most blades is the better use anyway. And on a lot of blades, I actually tend to agree. So we're going to try it this way. Um, also, one thing that was pointed out to me that I really know better and I should have was the way I was holding the blade yesterday. I can't believe I held it like that. It's a miracle I didn't slice my finger. You don't ever want to hold the blade by the sharp edges. Do not do anything I did yesterday, including and especially that. Hold the blade right here on the end where the edges aren't. That way you're holding it up and that way you're, there's no chance of touching the sharp edges. So. We're going to go ahead and put this into the razor we're going to use today. And that razor, we are using the Mula R41. It is arguably one of the most aggressive razors on the market. And I'm going to go ahead and use it today and see if this blade does any better. All right, so we're going to go ahead and just... Again, we're holding it on the side here. We're gonna put that right there. Careful not to slice myself as I'm putting it in. Hold that right there on the sides. Apply the base plate. And go ahead and attach the handle. That is the proper way to insert a blade. Do not hold it by the sharp edges. It's a nice way to really slice yourself. All right, so that's the razor we're using. For the shaving cream, we're gonna be using Palmolive Men Classic. This is one of my favorite creams. This uh, gives me a much better 
a shave and a much rather lather, lather than almost anything else I have. And it always gives me a good, strong, moist lather. So I really think this is the best option to use. We're also gonna be lathering that up today with my Perfecto Badger Hair Brush, which always gives me a good lather on my creams and soaps. And it always holds the moisture well, so it should work really well for that. To finish up, we're gonna be using After Aftershave Skin Conditioner Balm. And then I'm gonna be splashing on some Brute Aftershave. All right, so that's what we're doing today. Let's go ahead and start the process of lathering this up and then we'll go into my pre-shave, splashing some water, really rehydrating my skin and putting on some of that lotion as pre-shave. Let's go ahead and just jump right into this though. So we're gonna go ahead and put a decent dollop right there in the center there, just to make sure I have enough. Go ahead and take this brush, which has a lot of moisture in it. And we're gonna go ahead and just splash some of the water out of there and we're gonna, let's go ahead and lather this up. Again, please don't judge me for yesterday's video. Uh, it probably wasn't as bad as I think it was, but honestly, I watched that video and it is just atrocious. That video haunted me. It, like seriously, I, it's, I had to do this. My OCD would not have allowed me to not do this video, honestly. Um, and I mean that literally. Um, my, my obsessed compulsive disorder would not have been able to let me just let that video be. Right off the bat, you can tell this is lathering better than yesterday's. It's really starting to blow up nicely. We have a nice lather building here. It's even starting to overfill on the sides and overflow, but you can see right off the bat, definitely got a good lather starting to blow up here. This is the lather I was hoping for yesterday that just didn't come. So I'm really glad I'm able to get this lather today. I think we'll all agree once this goes on my face that you're going to see a lot of you're going to see a lot better of a lather here. And I think we're going to see some improvement. I'm hoping we'll see some improvement. Even if this blade still doesn't work well, at least I know I gave it a fair shot. At least I know I gave it a fair shot. All right. So we really, the, the lather really did blow up there nicely. So I think we're in good shape there. Um, let's go ahead and splash on some hot water. Rehydrate my face a little bit. Rub on some lotion and get this party started. So I got some nice, really hot water on my face now. Let's go ahead and try a little bit of lotion, just a tiny bit here. Again, this is just some plain men's lotion, which I, I've looked and it says it can in fact be used as a pre-shave. So just moisten up the skin a little bit there. Also, you, want, you may notice I am wearing a different shirt than I usually wear or a different style shirt. Usually I wear my graphic tees. Today I'm wearing a collared shirt, um, mainly because I went to work for a half day today and I didn't wear my scrubs to work because it was a, a non-drug testing day at my job. So I wore this outfit and I decided to just go ahead and
go ahead and just shoot the video in this. Uh, let me know, actually. I've had some people tell me that I should wear more shirts like this in my videos. So let's do a bit of a poll. Um, put in the comments below. Let me know if you think I should wear my, if you like my graphic tees better or if you like the collared shirts. Let me know. All right, so let's go ahead and apply this lather. Well, first of all, it is applying better. Look at that. That is a nice, moist lather. I hope you can see how much better this lather is compared to yesterday's. Um, put it in the comments below. Let me know if you if you can definitely see it. I can see it. I can feel it. So I think this will be a step in the right direction here. Meanwhile, I've gotten it all over my, my shirt. It's one of the downsides of wearing a collared shirt. So we're going to unbutton this just slightly. <laughs> all over the shirt. All over. Oh, it's just shaving cream. It's just shaving cream. All right, let's go ahead and start. We're gonna do with the grain pass. We're gonna go slow, slow intentional passes. It still is not the smoothest of shaves. It still feels rough. It's better, don't get me wrong. Not as much pulling or tugging. as I felt there was yesterday. But it's still pretty rough and it's still, it's, I can feel it going over my, my neck and it's leaving me feeling a bit almost raw. And I definitely can't blame the lather or my technique this time because I put on a pre-shave. I really got a nice moist lather, so I really can't fault my technique this time. All right, I will say, let's go ahead and rinse off. Wow, that lotion and everything really is leaving my skin feeling nice and smooth. Um, right off the bat, let's go ahead and reapply this shave cream, but I'll talk as I do it. I will say it did give me a better first pass than yesterday. Um, it left, it definitely cut down more than it did. So it definitely works better in a more aggressive razor. So that's, that's a step in the right direction. Again, it's still a little on the rough side. I'm trying not to judge it too much because I did have some irritation there from yesterday. So part of that could definitely be the irritation I have from yesterday because the top is not feeling quite as rough, but it's still, it's not quite as smooth as other blades. Let's go in for pass two. We're gonna go across grain on top and against the grain on bottom.
I mean, honestly, it's as far as the shave goes, it's not bad. I do think it's working better than yesterday. Using a better razor helps. I love my, my Macor. I know a lot of people don't necessarily. I love it. I've never had a problem with it, but I just think that it's too mild for this particular blade. We're gonna go in for the final pass. This lather definitely held up better too. Still tons of lather left in there. So the lather did really, really well compared to yesterday. So definitely better. Now, a few of my viewers did say that it's not as smooth of a blade. Um, so that is definitely something I am finding as well. And I think that that's part of what I've been experiencing here this entire time that I'm seeing is it's just, it's not as smooth of a blade. Be very careful going over that cut. Like I said yesterday, last thing I want to do is reopen that cut. Don't get me wrong, it is, like I said, it, it's it's better than yesterday. I know I keep repeating that, but it is. It is definitely better than yesterday. And I can definitely tell when I go across the grain right here, I'm definitely feeling a difference. It's not pulling, it's not pulling the skin. It's not like getting stuck. It's actually, it is gliding better, but it doesn't glide as well as other blades. Right. Let's go in for the final little bit here on top.
Looks like I did open it up slightly, just ever so slightly on the top. There's a little bit of blood on that cut, but it's not terrible. It's not terrible. And it looks like the, you can definitely tell there's better than yesterday because the, the weepers and stuff didn't even really reopen much. So the techniques I did today and the all in all and the better lather did actually do something. So part of it was definitely me yesterday. I knew it was. That's why I wanted to give this another fair shake. All right, let's go ahead and rinse off. And let you know what we finally decide here. I got that blade right out of that razor right away. Put it over here to dry. So let's go ahead and give some finishing statements here. All right, what I can say is it definitely did better than yesterday. Overall, the whole experience, much better than yesterday. I'm still on the fence about it. I, I truthfully still am. I'm gonna have to, again, I'm gonna have to compare it to the other Wilkinson sword blades I have. I'm also gonna have to get my hands on, I think there's two others as well. Um, at least, well, there's at least one other, but I think there's two as well. I really want to get my hands on those and see what they're about as well. This is, it did better in, in the more aggressive razor. Took off more of the hair and I had a decent amount of growth, even though it was just yesterday. Um... I am still feeling a bit raw on my neck, especially, but it's, it's not terrible. I mean, you can see, I don't have any weepers. There's actually no blood at all. Maybe some slightly right here um, where I may have reopened this just ever so slightly. But other than that, there's, there's no weepers, there's no blood. It's a little pink in this area here. You may be able to see, I don't know, but honestly, that's, just leftover irritation. The fact that it didn't reopen any of that is a good, good sign. Um, it very easily could have. So I'm glad that it didn't. That definitely is a step in the right direction, but it still, it left me feeling a little raw. And when I put on the, the after balm there, it definitely left, the feeling left a little bit to be desired. Well, I can't, there it goes. Couldn't get the brute open. My hands are very slippery. Um, so we're going to try the Brute and see. Okay. Um, well, first of all, I got a little bit in my eye. That's not good. Shit. There we go. Um, it burned badly. Badly, um, which does not bode well. It means there is some irritation there, um, which again could be from shaving a lot. It could be from yesterday as well. So I got to take all that into consideration. But it did honestly, it burned a little bit, a little bit worse than yesterday. Um, I mean, obviously some burning is good, but I don't know. Didn't it was a little? If you want my opinion, it was a little too much burning. Um, So I'm, I'm not sure. It's not the best blade. It really isn't. Um, is it better than yesterday's review? Yes. Again, I keep saying that, but it's true. It is. 
Is it smoother than yesterday? Yes. Is it a is it a decent blade? Yeah, it can be used in a pinch. You got you really got to it's not one of those that you can haphazard your routine as I did yesterday. You really got to stick to what you know works best and you got to give your face the best chance with these blades. That's the only way it's really going to work. I did that today and it really gave it a fair a fighting shot. Um Whereas other blades are more forgiving. This just, that's what it boils down to. This blade is not very forgiving. It's not very forgiving. It's, if you don't do it properly, it's just not going to work. It's just not going to work well. But as far as the sharpness goes, when you pair it in an aggressive razor, such as my Mula, it does hold up well. It took off a nice amount of growth. I did have some growth yet from yesterday because my hair grows really fat, really fat. Um, my wife and I have a joke that if we ever have a daughter, she's going to come out with a full beard because my beard just grows ridiculously fast. Um, but so it definitely took off the hair and it did so well. Um, I probably could have finished after two passes. I always do a third pass just because that's me. Um, sometimes to my detriment, but I always do a third pass. So but I could have gotten away, especially on top, especially on top, I could have gotten away with just one or two passes. So it did well paired with a more aggressive razor, but it's just not very forgiving. It still caused some irritation. It's not very smooth. I don't know. It's, you get what you pay for. And it is, from what I understand, it is the cheapest of the blades of the Wilkinson sword blades and it really felt that way and you really do get what you pay for it, and not in a good way. So, but I mean, we'll give it another shot again and we'll compare it to the other Wilkinson sword um, blade and we'll see what happens. But that's my take on it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a little bit. I hope you got a little bit more out of it than yesterday. Um, again, don't pay attention to what I did yesterday. I tried to correct everything I did yesterday and give me more, um, better techniques and better routine today. So hopefully that's shown through. Um, if you're watching this video and you have not yet, please hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, you like all my videos, hit that like button. Give me some comments below. Ring that bell icon for notifications. If you feel so inclined, hit me up on social media. That's Instagram and Twitter at The Dave Shaves. Follow me on Facebook.com slash The Dave Shaves. And again, if you feel so inclined, hit me up on Patreon at Patreon.com slash, you guessed it, The Dave Shaves. And go ahead and follow me on the web at TheDaveShaves.com. That's it, of course. As always, stay happy, stay healthy, and keep shaving. I'll see you on the next video.